Hi everyone, my name is Susan Parker with the West Virginia DEP with our Youth Environmental Program. And uh, because we had to cancel our Youth Conservation um, Conference, we're doing some interviews with some individuals um, that work and, and have interest in the outdoors and our environment and they're able to take that love and interest and do something really passionate with it. So our guest today is Tyler Everett. Um, I actually grew up with Tyler in Romney, West Virginia, but he's in Charleston now. And he is um, a very well-renowned photographer and he's done lots of amazing things, um, even some um, public presence public uh, photography, um, encouraging tourism in West Virginia, but I'll let him tell you a little bit more about what he does um, and his interests with photography. Hey, everybody. Uh, when I was uh, probably about 15, I went to Camp Caesar, a state conservation camp, and I had always been interested in conservation and nature, and I really didn't have an outlet for that. So while I was at the camp, I met Jim Clark, who is a local photographer, and he had just come out with a book on the Allegheny Highlands area of West Virginia. And so I got to meet him through conservation camp, and it immediately clicked with me when I saw his photos of this is a way I could, you know, not only showcase the nature and the things that I was seeing, but also, you know, do some of that stuff that I wanted to do um, in terms of, you know, just helping nature and, you know, showing, showing what I saw, you know, so to speak. Um, and then it just went from there and I, I got to talk to Jim and, you know, from that point you're learning about different cameras and how to, just how to exposure and all that stuff, all the basics. So. I went from there and I kind of got into it with Jim and worked on some different, uh, some different things. Um, went to a national conference where I met a bunch of other photographers who helped me out. And I ended up traveling over the next four years to about 42 states. So it That's kind amazing. of went from Camp Caesar and kind of skyrocketed from there and uh, turned into a lifelong career because now I'm the uh, photographer for the West Virginia Department of Commerce. Um, which is over top of state parks and work with tourism and uh, DNR and all that stuff. So I, I get to, to, to do a lot of different things in the area that I was interested in originally, um, but a little differently because instead of going into biology or, you know, forestry, I was able to use the photography um, and I get to, I get to go and, you know, I get to go and interview biologists and learn about different, different nature and different uh, animals and, we work with the forestry department on, you know, going out and doing fire, fire training and all this stuff. So it allows me to, you know, not only do photography, but learn about all these different things that I was interested in originally. And it's, it's great that you get to promote um, appreciation for nature, you know, getting people to view it differently and see it um, how you do and uh, you're capturing that for them. Um, Tyler, what would you advice would you give a young person if they were thinking about having a career in photography or having a career in, in something similar? Um, what would be some suggestions you would make to them? Well, um, at this point, it's you know with the uh, Instagram and you know social media, it's pretty much anybody's game. Um, back back when I started in film, it was kind of like you had to. It helped me when I met people. Um, and network that way, but the the whole networking online is just you know you can you can talk to somebody across the entire world on a Zoom call, yeah. and it's uh, it's it's nuts because it allows people who you know normally wouldn't have an outlet. It doesn't matter if you're in you know it doesn't matter if you're in Circleville, West Virginia, you can still take photos even in that local area, and then you know if, if you are talented and also. Um, the great thing about the the internet is, you know, heck, YouTube. I mean, you can you can learn about photography. So I would say my tips would be, you know, <clears throat> get yourself out there um, online. Don't um, don't be worried or don't be scared to put yourself out there. And then also, you know, keep learning and keep watching. You know, watching those YouTube channels that are, 
you know, popular and the tutorials that people give, because a lot of them are really amazing. Like I've grown as a photographer based on just watching different YouTubers. Um, most of them are Canadian, actually. It's funny, but yeah. um, all the good YouTubers are Canadian. Uh, but, you know, you get these these things you can you can get into and you can go from pretty much anywhere, even in the t current you know COVID crisis. We are able to, you know, learn so much just just at your house. So I don't know. I I, I would say just go out there and, and take pictures and come back and you know learn and then put them out there and then people will give you advice. You know, people will. You can you can ask on Facebook or any social media platform. You know, what do you think? And don't be hesitant or don't be uh, don't feel bad when people give you negative comments because a lot of those negative comments help you grow because some people take you know harsh criticism um, a little bit too much pers personally a little bit too personally and um, but that's what helps you grow you know people just beat me a lot when I first started I mean and I was like yeah. you feel like you're like oh, I'm horrible but <laughs> You know, they're just trying to teach you and and if you just take all those things all those things that they tell you and work them in your mind you know work them out in your mind you realize that yeah they are trying to help you and stuff like that so that's great advice especially for young people it's hard but that's great advice do you have any one experience that you want to share or, or a story of um, something that you've encountered over the years that you think might um, um well I mean just I'd say for, for a lot of the young kids, basically, that, you know, you can go anywhere from West Virginia. I mean, I was at uh, Camp Caesar, and, you know, at, even after traveling so much as I did, I wanted to come back to my home and, and be in West Virginia, and that's the kind of thing that uh, photography allowed me to do, and, you know, just get yourself out there. You kind of never know where something will take you. You know, it's it's one of those things where I went to conservation camp um, and then I got sponsored by Jim to go to a national conference where I met Carl. Had a bunch of amazing photos in his portfolio that he was showing me um, when we were at the conference. And one of them was the Northern Lights and, and in Denali, Alaska. And I just, and the Big Dipper was in it and everything. And it was just, it was beautiful. And then through talking to him and working with him and just keeping in touch with him within about six months after that, I was literally watching the same exact thing play out at the same exact spot that he shot it. Cause he had wanted to go back. And so, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you never know what one meeting or one pretty much anything in your life. One thing will just take you somewhere and it'll, it could be amazing. And then, uh, Probably, you know, just some of the the other things would be all the amazing wildlife I've seen, you know, from traveling with different photographers and 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 people are really, really good if you are a young person and and have that zeal for life, that zest, can you know, that kind of, you know, if you're excited about about photography, a lot of other photographers kind of or anything, you know, if if, if you're around a person that's in an industry and you're excited about that industry then a lot of the professionals in that industry kind of almost want to live vicariously through you because they miss that once you get into the business of it. And it's hard to kind of, so you kind of bring them back down to the the reason they got into it, so to speak. So um, don't ever hesitate to reach out to another photographer with your enthusiasm because you never know where it could take you. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Tyler. Appreciate your time today. And we'll be sure to um, share your webpage so people can check out your amazing pictures. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.